Hello, hello, unusable. So how do you record audio without echo or reverberation in a really, really bad room? Going from this to this. So I have recorded two episodes in here in a room with only glass and concrete and I made it work and I will show you exactly how I did it, hardware and software. First, I will show you something. Let's go up. Before we start, if you're interested in new media creation, please consider subscribing. I have 175 subscribers now and I could really use some love. Thank you. Please, it matters. I am standing very close to this high traffic road, yet the unwanted traffic noise is not so bad. That's because I'm close micing it. My mouth is very close to the microphone. Sound pressure drops linearly with the distance. Not square of the distance, but still half the distance becomes twice the sound pressure. And a tenth of the distance becomes ten times the sound pressure. If we now switch to the camera over there, it sounds like this. But there is another problem now, in my opinion. Does it feel like we're having a conversation? No, right? Because I'm talking into this microphone. I feel that that's okay in a podcasting setup when two people are talking to each other and you're watching them from the side. But like this, when I'm trying to talk to you, I feel that this becomes a barrier between us and I don't like it. It's like you're at that bar and you're trying to pick up the hot girl. Don't hold out the beer like a shield in front of you. Instead, drop it down and you become much more accessible. On Hollywood movies, is there a microphone between Will Smith and the camera when he's killing the dog? No, right? So, let's get rid of it! Exactly the same thing applies to the reverberation or the echo that you hear in the room. If I hold the mic really close to my mouth, the reverb in the room doesn't change, but my voice gets louder, so the relative difference between my direct voice and the reflections in the room get bigger. And If I move the mic further away, out of the visual frame, the difference in sound pressure between my voice that is directly picked up by the microphone and my voice that is reflected in the room is now much less, so they get more muddled together. Lars on Academy. Lars on Academy. Lars on Academy. You hear the difference, right? So it sounds better. But, like I said, I don't want this mic in the frame when we're having a conversation, you and I, like this. So, what to do? How to solve this? Seven things. First, we absolutely need a boom mic. And we're positioning it approximately like this. And pointing down here at my chest. Then even if I lean forward a little, I'm not covering the sound. And also by pointing it more at my chest, I cover much of the noise and reverberation and echo that comes from the back. I put sound blankets everywhere, on the floor, hanging over a seat stand, below where I sit, even on the table. If you don't have sound blankets, any thick blanket will do just fine. That gets us this far. Hello, Larsson. Then it's time for software. I'm using Adobe here, Premiere Pro is fine or Edition, but it's the same steps if you're using DaVinci Resolve or Final Cut Pro. First we make the voice clearer and more evenly loud with a compressor. I use the multiband compressor, broadcast, then I edit these values, but that also brings up the reverb, in fact makes it almost worse. Also it brings up the core traffic from outside even more. But I still want this one, because if the audio is better overall, you will be more forgiving. Next, the obvious solution is the de-reverb. De-reverb. 
If pulling it all the way to 100%, it sounds like this. Hello, Larsson, Larsson. The reverb is gone, but the problem with that is that it kind of kills off the voice. It becomes really, really thin and flat. Still, we need it a bit. I usually put it here on 40%, which is still quite a lot. Then a little bit of denoise to kill off the car traffic. And I feel that also helps with the audio overall by quieting everything down. I put that one on 10%. Then comes something which is maybe a little bit less obvious. It's the dynamics gate. Because at the end of the word or at the end of a sentence, when it goes absolutely quiet, you hear the echo or the reverb much more. So instead we try to cut to silence. It becomes a little bit unnaturally abrupt, but it's still better. Hello, Larson Academy. Hello, Larson Academy. But here comes the second part of that trick. You react on that it goes dead quiet. So if we put some background music, even if it's very quiet, it hides those big differences that the dynamics gate creates. Hello, Larson Academy. But if we can get this decent without having the microphone in frame between us and without touching the room, what can we do if we up our game a little bit? I'm not here for good enough. I want spectacular. I brought in the big guns. So we'll open these boxes and see if we can turn this space into something truly great in the next episode. Subscribe please and click to watch the next video. Thank you, Larsson out, hey up!